Oh, a wonderful day really ahead of us. A perfect fall day almost if you can get past the fog on this Monday morning. But all <laughs> yep. of us are usually foggy on Monday morning, so it's uh, appropriate. Exactly, yep. Everyone is nice and foggy after a nice long weekend. But yeah, we are looking at some fog issues, especially over near Wise County. They're dealing with some fog issues over there and then over in the Cumberland Valley there as well. We have a visibility map that'll just map it up right out for you guys, especially over near Harlan County, parts of Bell County as well. Less than half a mile of visibility. You can see there anywhere highlighted in that yellow is where we're seeing the most issues as far as the fog goes. But we are looking at clean sweeps on our pinpoint Doppler, so things are nice and dry out there. If you can just get past the fog, it is a pretty nice morning outside right now because we are nice and dry. But we do have some rain on the way, and that's going to come with a cold front, which is off to our west. It's going to continue to progress towards the southeast over the day today and by tonight we are expecting to see some rain chances coming into our forecast right around nine o'clock tonight. Now temperatures area wide throughout most of the United States anywhere from the lower 50s here in Hazard up to the upper 50s near Michigan down to the lower 60s over in Georgia. So we are looking at a fair range of temperatures this morning but throughout the valleys temperatures anywhere from the upper 40s over near Somerset and London over to the Big Sandy, anywhere from 50 to around 44 degrees over near Ashland. Now, this morning we are looking at these fog issues, so that is giving us a yellow light on our travel can our travel forecast. Temperatures by around 7 o'clock could drop down to a couple of a couple of degrees to 47 degrees, and then by this afternoon we're looking at temperatures topping out in the mid 70s. Sun sunrise is around 7:38 this morning, and then sunset around 7 o'clock tonight. Record high, 84 degrees, so 10 degrees warmer than what we're seeing today. Thank goodness we're not seeing temperatures this hot. Record low, 31 back in 2006, and we are expecting a new moon tonight. Now, as far as the next couple of hours ago, we are going to say mostly clear today. But we could see a couple of clouds rolling through the area throughout the afternoon. And then by around 5 o'clock tonight, we are going to expect to start to see some cloud cover increasing, especially around 7 o'clock in our northwestern counties. And you can see there is some rain off behind the cloud cover, and that's that cold front moving through the area. It's going to start to increase in energy, bringing with it some rain as it moves through the Commonwealth tonight. So starting around 9 o'clock is when we're expecting to start to see some of the rain moving through the area. We could even hear a couple of rumbles of thunder tonight, but for the most part, I am just expecting mostly some showers moving through the area and they will start to move throughout the area overnight. And then by around five o'clock tomorrow morning is when we're expecting things to start to dry out again. So by the time you're making your way out the door for your Tuesday commute, things should be nice and dry for you. And throughout the day, Tuesday, a couple of clouds hanging through the area, but for the most part, skies are going to be nice and sunny and it's going to be a gorgeous day in Eastern Kentucky and actually a really nice week as well. You can see Wednesday, is expected to be nice and clear just like it is today and Tuesday. So we are expecting nice conditions for a majority of this week here in eastern Kentucky. And it's going to be on the cool side. This cold front is actually going to drop our highs down to about anywhere from the mid 60s to the upper 60s for most days this week. Now throughout the next couple of hours, temperatures again topping out in the mid 70s and then the skies will start to increase in cloud cover. And then those rain chances are coming right behind those clouds coming through the area. So we are expecting to see some rain chances tonight starting around nine o'clock. And then as for that seven day forecast where your weekend is always in view, I know it's only Monday, but everyone's looking for the weekend and actually it's going to be a bit of a chilly weekend. Temperatures this weekend only topping out right around 60 degrees both days and lows dropping down to the lower 30s. And as for the rest of the week goes, temperatures anywhere from the mid to upper 60s and then lows dropping down to the upper 30s. Now, as far as that fridge art goes, we have a very nice picture coming in from Nick Mead over from Hay Valley Elementary School. Very nice Halloween picture, very festive, and very appropriate for this time of year. All right, Sports with Jamie McCracken is coming up right after this.